Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the Pillsbury Heat and Eat Fudge Filled Brownie and the Cinnamon Roll. The Fudge Filled Brownie, it comes with a uh, fudge drizzle and the Cinnamon Roll comes with vanilla icing drizzle. These were $4.49 each at Meyer, and they were back where like the uh, yogurts and the refrigerated cookie dough, things like that are. That's where they were in Meyer. So it says ready in less than 30 seconds. So the directions are on the back. They, um, they have almost the same directions. Uh, this one is remove the brownie from the wrapper before microwaving, place on a microwave safe plate, and then microwave as directed. For our microwave, we're gonna go to 20 seconds. And then when it comes out, you wanna squeeze the icing on top. This is the exact same thing, except for the cinnamon roll, we are going to go to 22 seconds. So, um, and that's how they're supposed to look. So, Kevin, um, when he is microwaving more than one item, he always um, microwaves them separately anyway so that they'll cook properly. So uh, the different time doesn't matter. So you get four individual pouches. I'm gonna use scissors, make it easier. Okay, so did it say remove it no, from? No, just leave it. You leave it. It says remove brownie from wrapper. So this is what it means yeah. by the wrapper. Okay, so there's that. And then I guess the icing's down in here. Oh, there we go. Okay. And here's the packet of icing. So these can go back in the box. Okay, so now the center. Oh, I didn't see. Look, there's an easy way to open that. I opened the other one from the side. Didn't even see this. Okay. So this is, this is exactly like a toaster strudel, but toaster strudels are made by Pillsbury. So it's, uh, <laughs> it's the same company. So I'm sure that's the very same icing that you use with a toaster strudel. So that is how that looks. So we're going to get these in the microwave and we'll be back. Okay. They basically look the same when they come out of the microwave and you're supposed to be able to tear this. Oh, I see. I see where the tear is. It's right here. made uh, Pillsbury General Mills. These actually say they're made in Canada. So um, I bet you Canada, uh, they don't get them in Canada though. I'm, I'm sure they don't because that's the way it works. It, it's not fair. Uh, one brownie is 300 calories. So pretty good size though. It is. So are we just gonna go for it? Okay. This reminds me uh, just to look at it of a, a lava cake. Yeah. It's very, very soft. Almost goopy. That is delicious. It is very, yes, it's very soft. Uh, and it's very good. almost gooey. It's a, the, it's a rich chocolate, but it's not dark chocolate. And then you get the, 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 Fudge drizzle mm -hmm. and it's delicious. If I were going to from now on with the rest of these though, I, when it comes out of the microwave, I'll take it off that paper immediately. Yeah. I'll take my fork or a knife and slide it under there and take it off because I mean you can take it off beforehand because I don't want to I don't want to fool with that paper. Yeah, uh, I agree. You can take it off beforehand too because it's too. I feel like I'm gonna lose some of that chocolate while I'm trying to eat it, yeah, or I'm gonna lose it, or I'm gonna end up <laughs> eating some of that paper yeah, I accidentally agree. because the paper is so dark that it blends in with the brownie. So I feel like I'm gonna accidentally eat some paper. So I would take it off that as soon as you microwave it. Um, like I, would, I said, you could take it off before you microwave it. it, it yeah, it, it if, you, if you don't need the paper in order to cook it, I, I, yeah, I would lose it's the true. paper. Yeah, yeah, because it would be much easier to remove it immediately from the freeze or from the refrigerator because you keep these in the refrigerator it'd be easier to to take it um, out before take it off before you microwave it because uh yeah it just gets in the way okay do they have another one that's apple pie 
Oh no, they're saying you can put it you with can apple. Make okay. it, you can make it into an apple pie oh. by adding apple, apple slices. slices. I got yeah. You. Oh, so, so the <laughs> oh, calories on this one, uh, the brownie was 300 calories. This is 250. So it's just, uh, yeah, that paper, I just don't like the paper. Bull off. It looks like this is made almost like monkey bread. Uh, yeah, it does. With the little hunks of like dough around. It's got a piece she ripped off. It's sweet. I think I like monkey bread better. I think it's, it's much moister and softer. Mm hmm. This was a little, they almost have the piece are almost too big. Of course, I got a pretty decent sized bite. Right. But um, it's a little dense. It's tougher. It's you know? a little tough. Um, it's not bad. It doesn't have a bad flavor. It's just. No, it's the flavors are good. It's just texture really more than anything. When you try it next to the, if you were trying it by itself, you probably would have even noticed. But we tried it next to the brownie and the brownie is so soft and gooey and it's like a fresh baked brownie coming out of the oven. Mm -hmm. And it's just so soft. And then to go to this, there's just a little bit of toughness to it. It still is good. I don't think it has the cinnamon, con um, mm -hmm. the amount of cinnamon that a monkey bread has. I agree. And right. I think that's why I like monkey bread more. Or um, even a cinnamon roll or whatever. The, the right. cinnamon's just not. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, even a regular Pillsbury cinnamon roll, I think, has more cinnamon than this does. Yeah. Um, it, this is good though. It is really good. And I think if I were to eat this like again, mm -hmm. um, I would pull each individual little piece out. Yeah. Eat individual pieces mm -hmm. by itself. Because you can eat it hunk by hunk. Yeah. And and it would last longer, first of all, and I wouldn't it wouldn't feel as chunky in my in my mouth while I'm eating it. Would you take this one off the paper too? Yeah. I would I too. Would too. I would probably microwave them without the papers on both of them. Yeah, I think they should have recommended that on the box. Uh is remove it from well, that, no, so no, like a feature not just the uh uh yeah i mean they show them they're eating it from that paper um but not just recommended taking it from the outside package but i mean they didn't even have to put it in that paper mm -hmm. they they could have saved some money on those little it says little, liner included yeah and i don't i just i would lose the liner completely and cook it directly on your plate and eat it like that yeah. Uh, because it just it gets in the way and it's an aggravation and just like with the cinnamon roll um, all of your good um, uh, Drizzle is stuck on that paper. Well, you want to eat that. Yeah. So what are you gonna have to do at the end? You're gonna have to lick the paper or scrape it all. Yeah, yeah. so lose the paper completely and that way you can eat as much as possible I lick just, the plate. That's how I think, you know, I'm a food, I like food and I want to, if I'm going to eat it, I'm going to eat it all. So I'm trying to tell you the best way to eat it. That's the way you need to do it. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.